Okay, if you can hear me, we're going through a storm. What we found was, uh, this is how we're anchoring, okay? The anchor is on the eye. You get the rope through the eye, and the bounciness goes away. because the boat will be straight always. That's one of the techniques they can use. Also hide behind some shelter buildings and barges and uh, land. Good day. Level, okay. All right, 10 feet away. Uh, this is how we get our boat out of the uh, when we want to launch the boat, we come in. Uh, stay away 10 feet at least. Uh, we tie, as usual, right here, we tie. And then when you go to the ramp, have a long rope, it's about, probably about 30, 40 feet. And I control the boat like this. And the driver, the truck goes back and uh, and if you notice this rope is tied to the front and it's tied to the back and I'm able to pull the back and the front and we go back to the ramp and we disengage Nobody has to be in the boat for me to control it. Now, go by the truck, so I can show them a trick. Go by the truck right there. No, now look at me. Now, if you ever grab the rope, like this, if you pull, you may be able to pull 50 pounds, 40 pounds, 100 pounds, but if you're smart, there's some knots in the line, and what we do is I'm 200 pounds. So what I do is I just drop myself like this. This is a 200 pound pressure on the boat. So I'm not using any muscle, I'm using my weight, okay? And I have some knots in there. So if, here's the knots, okay? So what I do is if I need to pull, you don't need to do that, but if you ever need to, don't use your muscle, use your weight. So I'm 200 pounds. I'm not able to lift 200 pounds most likely, but I'm able to use my muscle to do 200 pounds. So, and you got the front and the back, it's like a horse. So you pull here, pull here, you really need to, and, uh, what the driver needs to do is get the water in, you know, uh, what they need to do is get the, most boats, when this goes under water, it's the perfect time for the uh, boat to roll back. So what you do is you get the guard right here, the mud guard or whatever it's called, barely in the water, and then you stop. Once you stop, all, the boat no longer has any energy in it. And then you barely go back. When you go barely back, the boat will roll slowly. Now, bad driver will roll fast, and the boat will take off fast. And then you have to control it. And uh, we showed you that you can use your muscle. The second thing we're going to talk about is how to anchor in a storm. In a storm... Yeah, right there. Hold it. Yeah, okay. Normal anchor is this. This would be a normal anchor. Look at me. Okay. And you do figure eight, you know. So that would be a normal anchor. Problem is, in a windy day like we had today, 
the wind will hit the side of the boat right here and the boat will swing back and forth, jump up and down, etc. So what if you could anchor? I need you to shoot this eye. Go over here so you can shoot the eye. Show the eye. Go back. Yeah. What if you could anchor on the eye? If you could anchor on the eye, then you would not have the problem. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this rope right here. Actually, we're going to borrow some rope from here. We showed you a video earlier. Uh, Try to point into the eye. Uh, you're in the water. If you are able to anchor by the eye, it's not going to shake as much. So you're going to put this through right here. We showed you the video, but this is why I did it on the dry land. So, oh, we got a knot in the line, which is going to create a problem, but no problem. Eventually, you get the line through the eye, however you do it. So, and this is under tension. Go back, go further back. So, this area is under tension. The line is being pulled. You're in the water. You're anchored. And now, focus over here. You managed to get this in. Go back so you can, because that camera is weird. Uh, you come in. You put the, you put these two lines over here. And then now and if you want to make sure nothing goes wrong, just go ahead and do the figure eight right here. Now you're focused on that, that area. Now the forces are on the front of the boat. And if I pull on the front of the boat, the weights are not going to damage it as much or move it as much, whatever you want to call it. So the shaking goes away. So what I'm saying is anchor from here in opposed to here. Because if you anchor here, you will shake a lot in a wind. If you anchor from here, you don't. Now another thing is, use your motor to your advantage. When the motor is straight, the boat stays straight. If you move it to the left and right, the boat will tilt to the left and right. So if you need to go closer to the shoreline or away from the shoreline, all you have to do is move the motor left and right and the boat will drift left and right because the water will come through, hit the motor and uh, create a force to go left or right. And that's another way of controlling the boat. All right, good day and have a great day. Go boating and subscribe. Talk to you later. I hope this, if you have questions, just let me know what you're thinking. Here's your setup again. So, if I pull on this rope, it's pulling from the center, not from here, because we went, we put the line through the eye. Talk to you later.